Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a DNS error on your computer where Windows cannot communicate with the device or resource. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on going about resolving this problem without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now there's going to be a couple commands I want you guys to paste into the command prompt or just type it in like I'm going to do. So I will have these in the description of the video as well. So probably more than likely also on the screen. So the first command we're going to type in is ipconfig space forward slash flush dns exactly as it appears on my screen. So again ipconfig space forward slash flush dns. Hit enter on your keyboard once you've done that. And now that we're ready for the second command, it's going to be N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Again, exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that one. should say you must restart your computer in order to complete the reset. So I would suggest restarting your computer this time and hopefully it's been able to resolve your problem. Please also check other websites. So if you notice you're having this issue on a specific website, there's a very good chance that the website itself or the server that's hosting it is down. So if it's just a specific website problem, this tutorial is probably not going to apply for that and there's really nothing you can do as the end user. But if you're noticing all your websites are down, so if you try typing like Microsoft.com, Google.com, Yahoo.com and just that kind of thing, you're not getting access to any of these websites then I would go ahead and try this tutorial, restart your computer, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.